In Parsha Shmini, we read about the kosher and non-kosher animals. We have the fish, we have the birds, we have the animals. And the Mishnah tells us, as we know in Nida, that there are two kosher signs for a fish, fins and scales. But the Mishnah tells us, Kol shi'eshlo kas keses, yeshlo snapir. If there are scales, then there are fins. All you see, if you see the scales, then you know the fins are there. The yeshlo shi'eshlo snapir ve'enlo kas keses. There might be fins on a fish without scales. So ask the Gemara. If scales always means fins, but fins doesn't always mean scales, so why isn't it just one simon for a fish? Just have scales. Because if there are scales, then you know there are also fins. Answers the Gemara very cryptically. Lahagdil Toro Lahadir. For the greatness of Torah. What does that mean? Explain some of the Bali Musar. Life is about fins and scales. What does that mean? Scales protect what I have. Scales is the armor of the fish. Protection of the present. Fins help you swim. Fins help you go further. Fins help you grow. Life is not just about scales. It is about scales, but life is more about fins. We have to be fins Jews and not just scales Jews. We're not, it's not just about protecting what we have, but gaining and always growing. And lahag dultor lahadir, to becoming great, is to be a fins Jew and not just a scales Jew. And this is extremely important in many areas of our life, especially in our connection to Eretz Yisrael. There's another amazing thought on this week's Parsha. Rev. Sarutskin points out that we know there's a, there's a non-kosher bird in our Parsha that's called the Da'a, and in Re'e it's called the Ra'a. Why is it called Ra'a? <laughs> Says the Gemara in Chulin, Shero'e Biyoser. It sees very far, an amazing uh, ability to see. Tana, and the Gemara says in Chulin, Omedes Bebavel Varo'a Nevela Be'eretz Yisrael. The bird could be in Bavel and see a Nevela in Eretz Yisrael. Asked the Tzorotskin, so why is it a non-kosher f- bird if it has such power? Says the Tzorotskin, what's the language of the Gemara? Standing in Bavel and seeing an Avail in Eretz Yisrael. It's a non-kosher thing to stand in Chutz Laaretz and say what's negative and bad about Eretz Yisrael. When we're in Chutz Laaretz or wherever we are, we have to always see Re'e Batuv Yerushalayim, Re'e Batuv Eretz Yisrael. We always have to have our fins on in terms of connecting to Eretz Yisrael, to feeling for Eretz Yisrael, and Beth Hashem dreaming of the day that we will all be together in Eretz Yisrael. Remember the message of the Ra'ah. It doesn't take a kosher fish to stand outside and see what's negative inside. It takes power to always grow and connect to our inner love for Eretz Yisrael and hopefully have it overflow and bring all Jews back to Eretz Yisrael Be'ez Hashem very soon. Have a great Shabbos.